创新能力最强的中国城市深圳，现在有一万五千家各种各样的股权投资基金，包括天使基金、创业基金等等。And in the Chinese city of Shenzhen, which is famous for its ability of innovation, there are as many as 15,000 uh, private equity funds of various forms, including angel funds and venture capitals. So harmony is very much in the minds of these old Chinese philosophers, and this basic culture has played a very important role in ensuring that China, as a big nation with so many ethnic groups, has remained united throughout the most period of its history. Having said that, uh, these traditions have also affected innovation by the Chinese people, in particular in the field of nature and science. However, however, about 30 years ago, when China started reform, opening up, and the Chinese people began to be thrilled by all the achievements of an industrialized world which rapidly ignited the passion of entrepreneurship of the Chinese people. So we're here at Slush with Arthur the wireless robot. <laughs> can you show us what Arthur can do? Sure. Uh, this control shows you some basic emotions that Arthur can demonstrate, like disgust, surprise, happy, evil. He says he's a pretty good evil. Yeah, he's very evil. Uh, afraid. <laughs> And you can, you can use this dial to control just how disgusted Arthur can be. Okay, and it's real simple joystick measurement. He's very disgusted. <laughs> yeah, he's very disgusted right now. He's been working very hard today. Then you can also have him go through interaction mode. So he's actually seeing you mm -hmm. through his camera yeah. and trying to be present. So if he likes okay. you or if he likes what you're doing, he'll show be happy. Okay. If he gets lost and there's no light, he'll start losing people, then he'll get a little frustrated. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, another cool thing we've done is we actually we've integrated Arthur with Blender so that video game developers can now bring their experience and their talent developing characters in a video game environment into the real world or real world applications that are $30 trillion worth of opportunity. Mm -hmm. Healthcare, education, customer service, uh, social therapy for Alzheimer's, uh, for uh, sorry, uh, autistic children, uh, life companions for Alzheimer's and dementia patients. <laughs> Very big problems where you know human hours and labor really isn't a, isn't isn't working for us. Did he fall asleep there? Or did he go to the party last night? <laughs> <laughs> we were here a little late last night, uh, but. So what these animations do, they transition, and uh -huh. uh, you know, one of his modes is kind of being uh, introspective and genuflecting, so he's actually doing that now. Ah, oh, okay. So we actually had a very good, uh, uh, one of the best uh, Blender animators uh, mm -hmm. from the Blenders to do these uh, uh, expressions for us, and the idea is to show, show just how subtle the expressions can be. Mm -hmm. Right. Usually in the Disney world, the Japan world, you see very small expressions, and yeah. then these are on, off, on, off. Yeah. So that's what we call flipper technology, and that's what goldfish do, right? Yeah. The eyes blink and the mouth moves. Uh -huh. That doesn't get you enough in terms of being able to make use of the expressive and to be able to communicate with, yeah. with, with your face, which is what we do every day. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm going to zoom in on him. He's amazingly yeah. real. So I haven't paid attention to you. And scary at the same time. <laughs> harmless. So one of the things we specialize in and we think that's important is we think the future of service robotics is really in these non-contact mm -hmm. beyond you know wireless it's really non-contact human forms of communication you know it, it's not really to have people you know robots go into a burning building people love them come out or to drive mm -hmm. cars you know we're not sure maybe other than the military who would use that yeah these sorts of things where you know you can use them as nurses assistants yeah. right to, you know uh, providing medication videotaping mm -hmm. monitoring uh, patients without the patients feeling that your your privacy is being violated, right? We yeah. don't want a camera and a mic in every corner of a yeah. hospital. But if a you know very friendly, pleasant human nurse assistant was doing rounds every 15 yeah. minutes, 
checking in on you and you making use of wireless technology to make yeah. sure that we understand facial yeah. recognition. You're, you belong in the hospital. Yes. You're in the right bed. Yeah. You know, all of your medical information is in the HIPAA compliant cloud. Yeah. So, and I know all of your vitals because of your fit, fit, you know, I am able to take much better care of these patients to avoid, you know, 60% of healthcare costs, which is making mistakes and waiting until it's too late, right? Robots can't give you another, can't give you a, a, a MRSA or some sort of hospital for disease, right? Every time I give you medication, I videotape every episode so that, you know, the quality of care goes to the room. Yeah. And also allows nurses to be able to practice medicine at a much higher percentage, which allows them to make a lot more money because they're nurse practitioners yeah. and not administrative people. Right. Okay, great. Thanks a lot. Thank you.